Dear friends, today I'll be reviewing Tea's Dreamer from Victoria's Secret. Oh, there's no sentence. Oh, bronzed coconut, ocean salt, California sun. So, that doesn't help much. <laughs> uh, I just really love the packaging. I wish I, wish I really love the scent more. But I'll be keeping it for my collection because I got it for $12.99 from the semi-annual sale. I think there was a glitch in the system, so I got it uh, right before the semi-annual sale. So it will be dropping to that price. They should have uh, plenty of this in stock. They usually have it left over, especially since this one's been around the last two years. So most people probably already have this perfume. They just ran out of like teas and uh, bombshell seduction and bombshell beach because those scents were, were not brought out just for the semi-annual sale like these ones were. So I love the palm trees and on Fragrantica it says, Venice Beach Skate Park's West Coast Vibes. That's the inspo for Tease Dreamer, a limited edition sister to our original Tease fragrance. Side note, I don't think it smells at all like the original Tease. It's hot and hazy in the Hollywood Hills. Ocean salt and beach flowers in the air. Opres Skate, like they say Opres Ski. And rock teas and vintage denim. Surf wax and bronzed coconut, beachy and fresh. It's a California dream. A note from the brand. The notes are bronze, coconut, ocean, salt, and California sun. Tease Dreamer was presented in March 2019 and available as a 50 milliliter and 100 milliliter per day perfume as limited edition. So to me, this uh, smells like a sweet coconutty, um, sweet coconut, and I get a hint of amber. I love this scent, everything about this scent, but I get like this warm note that's like smells like amber to me. I don't know if you guys will smell it or not. I'm very sensitive to that scent because I don't like that scent note at all. So uh, you might want to disregard that there's amber in here. Because <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to agree with me. So let me know in the comments section. I don't know. It's just a, it's kind of like a soft, almost powdery, but it's not powdery. It's just like a very soft, co coconutty, uh, sweet scent to me. So I'll, I'll show you the on Fragrantic and what they say. They say it's coconut, sweet, lectonic. Yeah, there's something in there that's kind of like milky, I guess. Like coconut milk. Salty, uh, I suppose. Tropical. Somewhat tropical, but it doesn't have anything else besides coconut. Like it doesn't have pineapple or guava or anything like that. And vanilla, I do kind of get the vanilla. I can see that being like the sweetness of it. And I already read that to you. You can check out Fragrantica yourself and then read the reviews. This is the longevity and stuff if you guys are interested in that. Oh, on the day and night, is it day or night? Sorry, I don't want to make you dizzy, I'm going to go slow. Most people, like it. Some love it. Uh, hardly anybody dislikes it. Nobody hates it, really. It's not a winter scent. These are uh, votes. Spring. Springtime, it's mostly summer. Daytime scent, not a nighttime scent. I would agree with that. And then down here, they have the reviews, too. So, uh, really love this website. So, you can uh, pause that and read some of them. Here you go, so you don't have to look up yourself. Okay, that's it for my review of T Tease Dreamer. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos, and I hope you guys are having a good day or night. Subscribe. Love, Amber.